Let's transcribe some music. So a friend sent me this reel, which was posted by the director of Mariachi Sol, and it's a video of three trumpets playing a cool jazzy melody. Here it is. So already I'm like hearing some cool like three part jazz, like whole steps and half steps and stuff. So here's the first thing I do. So first I open a sheet music document in Sibelius and I'm gonna transcribe it for trumpet in B flat so that I can like transpose it after I give it to my friend. So here I have it open and we're gonna start by just kind of listening to the melody, like the top melody of the trumpet and see where that goes. Let's do that much. So it starts here. Bum. I usually just start like wherever I think it is. So I don't know, A, A, so bum, bum. That's a minor third up. There we go. So I already put the rhythm of it because I was kind of already transcribing it before, sorry. But if we do it like slowly in eighth notes. So the first one is kind of three eighth notes. So dotted quarter. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum. So that's a G, I think? No. Ba, bum, F. And so the, it's just kind of a scale. Ba, da, da, ba, da. Minor third. Ba, da, 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 da. Just kind of goes back down, right? Na, da, na, da. Very dissonant. Definitely a tritone. Yes. Not the one we want, though. There we go. Ba -da 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 -da. Minor second, right? And this one was kind of weird like to figure out lengthwise, but listen. One, two, three, four, five. So that's kind of how I based on like this rhythm. I just da 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 one, two, three, four, five, bop, 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 bop. And they take a breath on that last five. So that would be one, two, three, four. And then rest five. And then they go ba 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 ti do re. Kind of. I use a lot of movable dough, so like don't even trip. Ba ba major second. So that's probably a C. There we go. Ba ba half step. Ba 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 major second. Ba 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 ba. It goes back down to the C. And then here it goes ba 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 ba. So eighth notes in between, right? Ba 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 major third. So that's an A flat. Another rest. Da 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 major second. Ba 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 perfect fifth. Ba 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 major sixth. Ba 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 ba. We already know that. That's a major third. Ba, 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 ba. So that's ba, ba, ba. a perfect fifth. And I'm just putting this as a whole note just because, you know, it just kind of ends there. I can just put a Fermata on it or whatever. Oh, not that. There we go. All right, so this is basically the rough melody. And so now I'm seeing that there's a lot of flats. There's a D flat, A flat. So it looks like it's an A flat major. So let's just change the key real quick so that we're not hurting our eyes with all this ink. That C flat we do need though, because that's not in the key. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some staccatos here, because they were really, really sharp about that. So let's just listen to it one more time and see if it lines up. So I'm noticing they're going like, so like that second kind of thing is like all slurred. So I'm just gonna put a slur here. Getting there. Now this is the hard part, the harmony. Let's listen. Okay, so I heard ba, so ba ba di da. So that's a perfect fourth down. Yes. So now we're just gonna kind of go note by note and see what we can find. Ba. Okay, that's a D flat, I think. 
Yes. <laughs> so this is a very common like dominant 13 kind of shape. So the D flat would be like the seventh of the chord. The C would be the 13th and the G would be the third. So this is basically a E flat 13 chord. Jams. <laughs> so we got that. I think I'm just gonna do all the all the chords where they kind of land, just so I get those. And then we have kind of landing points because it's better to have landing points than to go kind of like through each note and just like replay, replay, and then that just drives me crazy. Ba, ba, ba. Fourth again. Lots of fourths in this. No. Another four. Yeah, chordal. Very cool. Okay. Um, so that's probably like a. I don't. I don't know what the. I don't want to analyze that part because it's it's in the middle of the phrase. Let's do the last chord. Fourth. Uh huh. And it's probably another four. I think that's what it is. Oh, I can't really hear it. That was a B flat. <laughs> oh, I can't really hear it. I think it's an F. I'll sing it. I'll try singing it while they play it. Oh, it's a C. Okay, 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 okay. So that is, that is an A flat chord. It's, a, it's an A flat major nine, no seventh, because there's that B flat, there's that C, there's that E flat, and we're in A flat. So that's where it ends. Okay, cute. That's why I couldn't hear it, because I thought the B flat was like the middle note, but it was actually the bottom note. I'm just gonna think about these things. So theory is really important a lot of times when you're transcribing, because you need that kind of like context to see like, where do things want to uh, want to go? and like where do they want to end up and it really helped finding out what the key is because then we can be like okay well it's the last note obviously we're probably going to end in like an a flat kind of chord and that's why i thought it was an f because i was thinking an e flat for some reason but the e flat is the fifth of the chord right so it would make sense that that we need the third in there right so that's where that c comes in Whew, that was tough now let's do the rest of the notes <laughs> Okay, it sounds like the someone is going just in parallel fourths. So let's see. A G flat. So hmm. Is that the bottom voice or the middle voice? That is the question. It sounds like they're just going in parallel fourths. Mm, that one's gonna be harder to make out, the bottom voice. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba. Yeah, they're, they're definitely doing parallel fourths. Easy, easy, but like you had to make sure, you know, cause like that's the thing about transcribing too, is like you can easily fall into like following the patterns that you think are there. But sometimes, sometimes the composer is just like, nah, like they like slip in some kind of thing. So it's good to just make sure and just kind of keep listening to it and then like sing with it and then play it back and just see if it like matches up, you know? So cute little melodic line harmonized in chordal harmony, which is just a fancy way of saying parallel fourths. All right, let's do the rest of the piece. Don't tell me this whole thing is just in fourths. Okay, fine, let's see. I think it's all in fourths. It might, it might just be all in fours. Let's listen to what the last, the third voice is doing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I know what they're doing. So you know how we figured out that last kind of harmony? I think they're following that shape for that whole second part. So that would mean third on top and then the second on the bottom, so. So 
So. Sounds a little dissonant for what they're kind of doing, so let's see. I think that's what they're doing. So let's figure out what the tempo is for this piece. So it's around here. So I'm just gonna use a metronome app. Just tap in. It says 154. That sounds about right. So let's put that in. 54. Let's make that a little quarter note. Okay, let's play it and let's see how it goes. I would say we have a transcription. Now, I'm sure there's like, you know, it's, it's, this is like what the sheet music would look like. Um, and then it would be kind of like up to artistic interpretation, you know, like how the little sections, cause at the beginning there's like a little bit more of a pause or a little bit more of length than that dotted quarter. That's just kind of like their own artistic interpretation. And by the looks of it, honestly, it looks like they just kind of like made it up on the spot. Cause it's just the melody harmonized in these specific shapes. Uh, and that's cool, you know, it's very, it's very jazz, very not mariachi, which is very cool because, like I said, this, this reel was posted by the director of Mariachi Sol de Mexico. Um, so thank you, Brian, for sending this over. Um, and let me know if you want any other transcription videos. I love transcribing and I don't really make videos about it just because I just do the transcription and then I'm like, okay, done. I don't want to think about it. But it's kind of cool to like dive into my process. So let me know if you want to see more of that. Until next time. I'm the Makeup Mariachi, and have a good day. <laughs> I don't know, have a good night. <laughs>